Hello guys, hello guys, I'm back with this ATM Mini and uh, to be honest, I was really surprised and happy that I will be able to use it so I got quite a bit of this rather cheap one cam cutters and as you see they are kind of all different ones and they are rather not new I would say that each of those are from about I don't know, 5, 6, even 10 years old or whatever else but all of these support live use so there shouldn't be any problem at all but when I wanted to test them out and connected all them at once, I wasn't able to connect them to ATM Mini. What I got was just a HDMI 1 port worked and that was about it. And together with these three cameras I also have some sort of two 15 meters long these high speed cables. They cost me around $20 per piece, so not too expensive ones, but at least they claim that they even support 4K and etc. And uh, by the size and everything else, they seem rather trusty ones because I have also some cheaper ones. This actually by the size is quite a bit twice smaller one as you see. <laughs> Not that thick one. And I also got even some more cheaper ones versions which I bought from the China. And as you see, this is interesting part here. So, And all of them claim that they are high speed cables. But you know, you never know. You see this also high speed cable and same thing with the other ones. And the next thing what I want to do, I just wanted to connect all of these cameras. Just for a test purpose. I'll also put this one, the most cheapest cable here in. And as you see, all of them are connected and you can clearly see that they vary in size. And for all of these three cameras, I also had to install adapters because they're quite different ones in size. But anyway, this is the cable for the number one. And with uh, this is you HDMI mini. Let's do this one. It's all right. Let's take another one. This is the second one. I will also use HDMI mini adapter and install this one in the second camera right here and there's the third camera and this has HDMI micro or whatever micro or whatever else and for this one I will just use this cable this HDMI mini little adapter rather easily just snaps so yeah you don't want to move it a lot around when it's in the camera okie dokie now you can see that all the cameras are connected so in the next part I connected this ATEM mini switcher to this uh, screen output and as you can clearly see the number one camera gives out some sort of output but if for example I just switch to camera 2 or camera 3 there are no output at all so I was rather a bit uh, sad because I thought probably there is some fault in this one uh, but I had some sort of worries about if there really is some fault because before this one I actually tried this out using one channel for the this some sort of uh, camcorder camera and second for the like Canon 70D camera and they together worked rather fine and had no problems at all and I was using these two big cables so I was quite a bit sure that probably there is not fault in the cable, probably something in this software or whatever else, or I've put something in settings what shouldn't be there. So the next thing what I wanted to try it out before I start to worrying too much, I will try to switch the cables. So what I do, I just put out one, this one, and press this one in channel one. And as you see, the input just changed, and I see the camera two input in camera one slot. And when I again change this ones in place, there is no signal at all and this kind of means that the problem probably is not like in the cable by themselves but something in software but I looked all around and I couldn't find any solution so I kind of went back to cameras tried all settings inside and nothing helped at all but in the end I read one comment that there might be some problems with the cables so what I did actually try to a little bit switch them around and uh, the results was rather surprising and one more thing well Kind of these two cables work rather fine if they were switched, so I decided just maybe I can do this one, the cable 3, 
which also didn't work and put in cable one this uh, slot and see if something will change and there rarely and interestingly there were nothing on there so I was a bit uh, surprised why so and just put everything back there and, and then I start a little bit thinking what am I causing this one so the next I was a bit confused because if I switched these two channels for these two cables it kind of worked for the channel one so it kind of was something okay and something not but this for this camera and this cable <laughs> The video mixer didn't give me any signal and uh, I couldn't think what's happening there. After a bit of uh, figuring out what's going on and why just channel 1 works for me, I kind of did a little bit of swapping of the wires, you know, the cables as you see. And in the end what I did actually change these ones and I used a thick one, the cable for the kind of newer camera but with this uh, kind of HDMI micro, not many, and then I used this one the smaller one for this camera and the bigger cable for this one. And there's an interesting part. Well, when I try to switch these ones in places and I put this uh, little smaller cable to this camera and this one to this, they had a, some sort of problems. So right now I will just uh, navigate through these ones to prove you that uh, this kind of cable changing worked with this one. And as you see, all three kind of works. And there is an interesting part, well, even to this one kind of looks rather same here. And there shouldn't be any problems at all. Well, if you just plug out this one, I'll just show you. And switch them in places. And then I go to the video mixer and well for this one kind of right now seems like working everything all right all right all right but I just put my fingers in front of the camera and you start to see that it's kind of glitching and turning off and on and that is rather weird behavior and I don't know why it's so but it just kind of gets sold if I just switch these cables back and I don't know why it's so and then let's get move back on here and then I will just put the fingers in front of here and you can see nothing happens bad here and then I go for the other camera this one here also everything is all right and then I go for number one and as you see there is no glitching as well. I know you have some sort of same problems that the only HDMI 1 port works. And you have quite a, you at least think so, quality cables there out. Problem might be with the camera and the cable together. And just by a little bit swapping the cables and the cameras you can actually get them work. This is CX160 model, this is XR155. HDR CX405. So all three different sort of uh, these uh, cameras. All of these has one one zero eighty in this output or input, whatever is resolution, and 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 uh, kind of same settings. I turn as well this HDMI control for ROD, so there are no issues with that. This, and I don't know why it's so, but probably because of different softwares and different models, but. <laughs> kind of works with me, these different cables. So if you have same issue that uh, only HDMI one port works for your cameras, even if you have connected more than one, probably you just need to try out with different cables and this might actually fix the problem. And it was kind of weird that for this camera and the, wire, the cable which was most thickest worked rather fine. For this camera, the most thickest wire didn't work and um, only worked this, this sort of wire and this smaller wire didn't work as well here for both of these, but for uh, this camera, well, as you see, the this smallest cable works rather fine, this didn't work at all, and gave some sort of uh, errors at all, <laughs> I don't know why, and, but uh, kind of, this biggest cable works really fine with this one, so this is really messed up, but probably be, no, at least know that uh, this is messed up for everyone, and I at least give you some sort of view 
what's going on there if you have similar problem and you haven't found your answer yet so just try different HDMI cables and this might solve problem so one more quick thing well to be honest I didn't know that this will matter but anyway it mattered for some reason even more messed up so I kind of first marked all the cables so I know what goes where and which cable is the right one for what device and if the interesting part if I still try to want to connect this Sony 160 camera to HDMI 2 it will not work and then an interesting part I will figure out for this one well okay menu setup and go here no maybe it was here yeah and if I put here for example this one 1080p what should be all right and then currently this is going on the channel this here as you see kind of works all right but if I press it all right then it just disappears and nothing goes here and yeah, 1080i it kind of works with this one as you see same with auto so it doesn't work with this so it matters so if you have something wrong probably in setup I don't know just put auto here well, for this camera with a T cable which works just with the number one we go to setup here no actually like probably we might do like this and there is like this HDMI resolution and then if I put like 10580 kind of works with this camera same with this one and I don't know why it's so but with auto it kind of works so this also can affect your camera input in this in this video mixer just so you know and then kind of as well make sure I don't know why the number one this HDMI input port is uh, much better than other ones so probably this might fix some problems if you just try to a little bit switch these ones as well when you figure out which cable works for what and, and, and that's weird that this kind of works with number one but it doesn't work with number two thanks for watching and goodbye